What up? Plant-based news made a new video of what plant-based doctors eat for breakfast. I'm not exactly sure what they mean by plant-based, but I'm guessing that they're vegan. They make the colors very saturated so that it appeals to the slaves. Breakfast, I think there's got to be one best breakfast, which has to be oats, whether it's hot um, cooked oats or whether it's overnight cold soaked oats, um, steel cut whole oats, um, which are then eaten with some sort of fruit like berries um, and has some um, additions like flax seeds or hemp. So I think you can't go wrong if you eat oats, berries and some sort of seed for breakfast. Wow, okay, it's one thing if you eat this on your own and don't promote it because we understand that you're all completely retarded and have no clue about nutrition whatsoever, this is very clear. But when you promote this and tell other vegans to eat it, then you actually become dangerous because you're making everybody else unhealthy. Oats have no nutritional value, they have some minerals, but seeing as they have the anti-nutrients that bind to the minerals, you actually lose more than you gain from oats. So if you eat anything else with oats, you actually don't absorb any of those minerals. It's uh, such an absolute joke. Uh, a lot of people in the UK have been eating this since the starvation days, since World War II. So she's from the UK. It's understandable that she may like to eat this. It's just absolute brainwash, though. And uh, adding berries to it, again, what's the point? It's sugar and vitamin C. You can get it from anything. You can get vitamin C from meat. Uh, there's absolutely no point in eating them. There's, again, no nutritional value. You add more seeds to it. Why? Oats are already made from seeds. Hello, she probably doesn't even understand it. And then you add more seeds, more anti-nutrients to it. Why do you add flax seeds for the omega freeze? There are no omega freeze and fucking flax seeds. Just learn it at last. You don't learn anything about nutrition whatsoever. Doctors alone have no clue about nutrition, but when it comes to fucking vegan doctors or plant-based, clearly they're just the stupidest out there. It's just true. They're incredibly ignorant. How can you eat this? Like, what's the point? And then you have a lot of fiber also. So you constipate yourself. So you have no nutrients and then you have fiber. Why? Why do it? There's a lot of toxins also in those seeds. Like, seeds are the most toxic thing you can eat. Like, that's the thing that nature doesn't want you to eat. The plant doesn't want you to eat its seeds. It's the plant babies. They protect themselves. <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> My favorite plant-based meal of all time. What the fuck is, is this? <laughs> So some in that bowl, orange you head take a, an acai packet, frozen acai doesn't even look blend it with human like bananas. And it turns into this what sort of soft fuck? serve thick ice cream I don't know consistency. What and then to describe that, this thing. A bunch of fruit. I can't even listen to what he's pies, saying. I'll add bananas, I'll add dates on top of that. And it tastes One of the weirdest nice creatures I've seen in my whole life. And it's very satisfying. I mean, it's in no way does he look healthy. Minerals and vitamins. But I sprinkle flax seeds on it, which are great for your omega-3. Chia seeds, no. <laughs> omega-3. Hemp <laughs> seeds, great for protein and omega-3 as well. I get and what he's saying, but uh, we can't seeds. convert it. There are studies on it. If you're a so-called well, doctor, then at least look into the studies. As well. My favorite uh, breakfast, well, it's not only my favorite breakfast, it's what I eat like uh, 363 days out of 365. Um, I make a smoothie that we have the ingredients here. It has um, almond milk and vegetable powders and uh, banana and frozen fruit and ground flax seeds. White powders. Food grade green tea and a tablespoon of burger's yeast. And then I have with that, it's a nice, great big, 20 ounces, 14 grams of fiber. Tea is incredibly toxic, full of heavy metals and the nutrients and other toxins. With fat-free hummus. And it's a lot of calories, but it gets me through the morning exercise and keeps my blood glucose levels for, you know, even Come on. for a real long time. So I don't need to comment on this. Look at her. She's dying. She's super tired. Just old-fashioned Quaker oats. With... Raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, and blackberries. Some raisins, a banana, and then some oat milk. 
So I, this is the guy uh, who killed really three of his patients the data has with a low-fat diet. That's the yeah. Look into it's that. Be a big bowl of uh, why is he it's talking be, about food at uh, all? Fresh blueberries may be frozen. It's going to be uh, walnuts. It's going to be the spices I love. I'm going to put cinnamon. I'm going to put nutmeg. I'm going to put allspice. I'm going to put ground cloves. Uh, maybe some cacao nibs. And it's going to be thick and just wonderful. And, you know, everybody says steel-cut oats and, and berries. Yeah, definitely that's a major call. But we have... All right. Um, what the last guy said, uh, again, you had the, the cloves, right? Incredibly toxic. It's been proven. I, the point is, everything that they eat is just incredibly toxic. They don't understand this. They eat the parts that the plant really doesn't want you to eat. <laughs> I, this is also so easy to find out. Just look into exactly what you're eating and then look into toxins. I, you can even find studies on this. There's lots of proof. There's lots of people who get sick from it. Uh, it's super easy to find out. And what is this? what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> it's grain sludge. Okay, it's what are grains? Seeds. So it's seed sludge and they're open up. They're not protected by their hard shell anymore. Like seeds protect themselves. Once you chew them or you open them in some way, you get to the toxins, which is exactly what you don't want. And they probably think, oh yeah, I get to the nutrients. I get to what? I get to some sugar. That's all that it offers. Okay, so you get sugar and then what do you get? You get all of these harmful proteins in there. You get all of the toxins and the anti-nutrients, everything that you don't want. And then, of course, as you can see, it has a black crust. What is this? It's carcinogenic. And they always talk about meat being carcinogenic because everybody cooks it well done or grills it. But then they fucking eat this, which is just the just fucking same thing. You can't burn your food. Of course, you should eat raw. But if you don't eat raw, then at least fucking... Uh, don't overcook it like this. And of course, never cook grain sludge, but fuck. Yeah. And uh, some sugar by the side again. So it's all sugar. Now, these people are not healthy. They're not going to live long. They, they already look fucked up. Vegan pancakes. And, you know, we have uh, 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 vegan cheese with bread. And, and there is no vegan cheese. It's completely toxic. Again, okay, look into the breakfast. ingredients. The choices are so many. And we have two kids, a 13 year old and an 11 year old. And our, our, our game is that every day we would have something different. My favorite breakfast recipe is tofu scramble. Um, uh, we eat a lot of tofu, which is an You're excellent plant-based protein. You're just trying to imitate protein. eggs. Um, and the way I make it is, you know, I make it very spicy. Um, I lived in India, so I have I have this uh, this love for spices, and we cook it with onions and garlic and turmeric and paprika and uh, coriander and cumin. We eat it All as of is them are with some baked potatoes sometimes, toxic. or we roll it up in a whole wheat tortilla as a tofu scrambled burrito and I think that's my favorite breakfast. So my breakfast usually is one of two things. Um, at, now the overarching theme is I want it to be quick and easy so I'll have a giant bowl of oatmeal sometimes I'll have two or a smoothie and the smoothie um, I'll toss in like a ton ton of greens. Come on man. A ton of frozen fruit. Do you want kidney stones? Uh, yeah and I'll then just, drink I'll that. literally drink an entire Again, this has been studied. What I eat Definitely many, 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 many days stones. of my life is overnight oats. And the way I make overnight oats is Shut the I fuck take up with the oats. Old fashioned rolled oats. I add either almond milk or soy milk that's unsweetened. I like to add frozen berries and it's delicious. It's filling, it's filled with fiber, she looks it's like filled she with drinks antioxidants soy milk. and phytonutrients and it keeps me going all morning. What the fuck is a phytonutrient? I There's no such thing. Those are all toxins. She has amazing vegan burritos. I mean, beautiful scrambled tofu with an ancho chili dip. Uh, that might be something I might have for breakfast. It is green season, so, so that was junk food. we have collard greens, kale, arugula, and so I use those in the smoothie with... A wire smoothie. Apple. 
pears. If you're a plant dates, eater, why not just water, eat the whole flour, plants? And that's <laughs> what I drink on my way into work. My favorite by and far why is not just like eat a, them? You know, <laughs> cliche, but avocado toast with some tomatoes and salt and pepper and nutritional yeast. Um, I put a little bit of like kelp seasoning on there, so I get a little bit of my iodine dose for you know the week. So I have my yeah, but kelp is anti nutrients. You can't absorb the iodine. Wake up. Right now, I mean, for the past. I'd say year Fuck. or two at least. Some of the, the stupidest people ever. The family, they call themselves is, uh, doctors. Power greens from Costco, so it's just a mix of greens, kale, spinach, all that stuff. That word used uh, to mean something. Seeds, now we are vegan soup. doctors. And it's then, an oxymoron. Uh, pineapple and really ripe bananas and water. And we blend those up and we all just chug them down. Sometimes when I'm feeling, you know, a little bit more uh, wavering towards a junk food breakfast, I'll make some grits. I am from the South and uh, so I'll take some grits, which is, uh, you know, made from corn, and I will add some nutritional yeast and some jalapenos and salt and pepper, and it's delicious. All right, about the jalapenos. Why not try and eat a kilogram of those? Oh, because you wouldn't like that, right? Because they're toxic and you would throw up? Why do you eat food that you can't eat until satiation. Not that you could get satiated by plants anyway, but let's just assume that you could, because you could eat meat until satiation and you wouldn't feel anything, especially if it's raw meat, of course. Same with the guy who had all of these spices, little jars. Try to eat the whole little jar, wouldn't even work. Try to eat a kilogram of the spices. You couldn't because they're toxic. Your stomach would burn, it would hurt, and you would throw up. <laughs> Also, what about this logo of plant-based news? What does the heart stand for? Love for everybody? What about all the animals that plant agriculture kills? You kill way more animals than any factory farm. Way more. Just look into it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.